So what if I told you that DC Comics almost made Ice-T one of their newer vigilantes? Well, sort of. You see, due to the indie boom of comics during the 80s, DC and Marvel wanted to get in on this because of the direct market. So DC decided to start a line called Piranha Press that would focus more on real life people and alternative comics. One of the first lines they did was Piranha Music, which featured famous music artists within like crazy superhero situations. And one of the first comics they released was actually Prince which had him facing off against a villain that used music as a way of creating this destructive force. Well, this comic did well enough, so they decided let's try it again with another Warner Brothers artist, you know, Warner Brothers own DC, and pitched an idea of a graphic novel for none other than Ice-T, which would have been called Ice-T's Players. Unfortunately, around this time, Ice-T released the song Cop, and anyone that was alive during the time understands how that whole fiasco went. So Warner Brothers got scared and decided to back off on promoting Ice-T like that and the graphic novel got scrapped. Which is kind of sad because the art looked really good. And by 1994, Piranha Press was no more. The funny thing is, the final comic they did was Prince and the New Power Generation. So this line pretty much started and ended with Prince.